Saturday night, you're going to be fine. Good. You're going to need an umbrella. What for? From the, for the dirt. dirt. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I need like a little windshield on your face. Well, this is a beautiful sunset tonight. So what we're tracking from Barbie, beautiful sunset. She said a little bit of rain had just come through the Ogden Valley. Beautiful. You can see the mountains up in the distance. But Salt Lake City right now, 67 degrees. We do have our wind out of the north at about 10 miles per hour currently. But when you wake up tomorrow morning, you'll see mostly cloudy sky here along the Wasatch Front. So it'll be another cloudy start near 50 degrees early tomorrow morning by 10 a.m. you're back into the 60s but tonight could see a few sprinkles on your windshield speaking of windshields driving home this evening or if you're headed out for a graveyard shift we do have a little bit of rain moving through mostly Tooele County but not a whole lot nothing that's going to really cause any problems but what we're going to be tracking for you into tomorrow will be a lot of wind it's still breezy right now from Lake Powell over towards Kanab Colorado City into lower Washington County overnight temps right around 45 to 50 for Price Provo Eagle Mountain for Twila Salt Lake and Ogden tomorrow morning near 50 degrees. St. George close to 60 when you first wake up. Your forecast at a glance for tomorrow calls for temperatures close to 70 for Provo, Ogden and Salt Lake City with cloudy sky. Wind will be about 10 to 20 miles per hour and that will pick up during the afternoon, we could see some wind gusts close to about 25 to 35 miles per hour. For central and southern Utah, St. George 83, Richfield 71, Cedar City tomorrow close to 70 with wind. And for eastern Utah, Moab 81, Price 73, Vernal 74 degrees. Overnight, we'll keep the clouds scattered here across Utah. 4 a.m., we'll still see a few showers up near the Wyoming border. Then we're going to continue with a better chance for some rain to develop here in the valleys late Thursday into early Friday. So by Friday morning, we could still see a little bit of snow up in the mountains, just tracking a couple of inches of snow as a possibility. Then we'll continue into Friday afternoon, a great start to the weekend. By Saturday night, you're dry, but by Sunday night, that's when we're going to have another week system rushing by. So rain projection over the next 48 hours, which most of this will be Thursday night into early Friday, we're tracking all areas of green. That is less than about a quarter inch of rain. So not a whole lot. A lot of this is closer to about a tenth of an inch of rain. Better than nothing, but not great. For St. George, you're close to 80 degrees Thursday and Friday. 85 for Saturday and Sunday with sunshine. And then we'll keep you close to 80 to 85 into the middle of next week. Here in Salt Lake City, we're going to have a cool down on Friday. Take a look at that, 55 degrees. 66 for Saturday, 60 for Sunday. And then we'll continue with that roller coaster with our next cool down and grazing storm by next Tuesday.